whether we believe in the details of the science of climate change and all, I hope we can all agree that at the very least, we face some serious risk of disruption to human lives. And we have the next 20 years to address this problem. I believe in the energy sector, we are reaching the strategic inflection point. This is the time to experiment with new ideas. And at this forum, we have an innovation showcase just to give you some illustrative examples. So we build a new category of power generation called a linear generator. The system is taking in natural gas or biogas or hydrogen, any kind of gaseous fuel that sits outside of a building and produces electricity for that building. Solstice is all about connecting and intelligently managing distributed energy resources in emerging markets. We replace the traditional machinery that's currently used in solar power plants to track the sun with a new kind of machinery that basically gets rid of all the motors, gearboxes, and a huge amount of steel and replaces it with air. You all, as these great young innovators making exciting things happen, sometimes the ones that are holding us back are... are are your, your government at the state and local level, the federal level, we need to be there to help incent you rather than hold you back. Well, my general view when people come to me and say, hey, the world is going to fall into a state of disaster, this is a huge problem, uh, it's unsolvable, my view is, well, maybe they're underestimating the power of innovation. Bank of America has been working with Stanford uh, for a number of years around energy-related transformation issues. So, so you've been a really generous supporter of Stanford University. You, you supported the Global Climate and Energy Project, and now you've started uh, the Sustainable Finance Initiative. And of course, we're really excited about that. Through this great university and what they can bring, the kinds of people they can bring to the table, whether it's from government, whether it's from development banks, from the private sector, we're going to figure out real solutions, think and do as Sally Benson would say, and that's what we're trying to do here, is to bring those solutions together, and so we're excited to help uh, do our part. I just can't think of a better place to hold the forum to talk about the problems and, and challenges that we're going to have for the future with meeting the demand, but then the dual challenge of doing it in an environmentally responsible manner. We have increased the share of climate-related, climate-benefited projects uh, in our balance sheet about a third since uh, uh, say 2015. First of all, that's clear that the, the, the world of energy is mo moving fast, not fast enough. It's going to take every conceivable market, regulatory, investment, R&D, private, public effort. It's almost like a, uh, almost, I don't want to say a war footing, but it takes some, some of that uh, heroism uh, to deal with climate change. I, I don't want to be too discouraging, but I don't want you to feel good when you leave here. I want, I want you to have a little bit of, a little tug in your stomach that, gosh, we gotta do something more, because that's the truth. Let's have zero emission vehicles fueled by zero emission power. And that's the ultimate. And so that's what we're really excited about bringing to market. Thank you. We have a sense of urgency uh, coming out of this conference that more needs to be done faster. It's very powerful to come here and meet the people who can help me do applied research and apply the le learnings and lessons from here at Stanford to my own company.